Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about inlet manifolds. So on the twin engine quadro, we're going to be using a couple of these, which are um, 2JZ aftermarket inlet manifolds. Uh, the next few clips are going to be just showing you how I'm modifying these to fit on the VR. Okay, so this is where we're at. So we've got the inlet manifold, which has been chopped down at the end, and then all the ports cut from the middle. Now, I was a little concerned about the casting on the inside, but it's actually quite smooth, so I've got very little work to, to smooth that properly. Then we've got the lower part of the VR6 inlet manifold, which has been chopped down, and then these aluminium tubes um, made up just to space this, uh, space this by about 40 mil just to move the inlet manifold away from the fuel rail and then lastly we've got this kind of bill mouth plate from a company called Nubworks in the States which again just, just um, uh, allows for a smooth transition of the year going into the plenium and in, into the uh, cylinder head itself so in summary this will be welded onto these then this whole assembly will be welded onto the lower manifold and then the plenum itself will be welded to this. Um, also on the end I've got this plate which I've cut up to mount the throttle body. Obviously it needs profiling and stuff, but that will come after and then the throttle body will simply bolt to it. And the reason why it's quite thick is because the screws or bolts, should I say, that will bolt through this need a reasonable amount of meat to create a thread and not protrude through into the plenum. So that's why it's quite thick but yeah that's kind of it so what i'm going to do i've got a bit of neatening and profiling to do and then i'll tack weld it and try it in the car make sure it's all fine and lastly i'll obviously weld it back up well that's it from this one thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers bye 